What's going on, YouTube? I say here, let's talk what happens tonight with SNL, Dogecoin, Elon Musk, and everything else, and why I feel today was a pretty important day and what I think is wrong with the world, and how I interpreted. I think it was a call out basically to all the other, to the big whales and to anybody else who's holding and is doubting this coin. It was basically to flush them out and to see exactly. I mean, that's I'm taking it like it's basically to let us know how many naysayers are out there in a way, non-believers, whatever you want to call them. And by looking at it, that's not that bad. I mean. We dropped 71 cents all the way down to a low of 46 cents. I mean, that's not bad at all. That is actually pretty pretty good. I mean, it, it, it blew through my uh, my level of support that I was giving it. That's for sure. I mean, my level of support was somewhere around somewhere around there. You know, it's cool. It's cool. Sometimes you're wrong. You know, I mean, that's why I say technical analysis. You know. They were correct. I mean, I didn't even. I mean, I was close. <laughs> I was close. I guess. I mean, you know, wouldn't have ever seen this one be a spot right here. But I mean, who's not even seen other than my life? And, you know, I have been wrong before. Or, I mean, I guess I did miss that one. Yeah, well. Right? Does it look like. Oh, yeah. Well, I guess if I wouldn't have been too excited and overshot and I really cared about because at the end of the day I'm pretty um my conviction level is on the fullest to this cryptocurrency this coin right here Dogecoin to the cause to the army to what we're doing here to everything but I definitely messed up on that one because that clearly would have been like another good spot for me to buy more because I bought in I bought through in another like three grand at this right here well, I was like alright well this got to be it right here yeah I was like alright that's why I bought in right here another 51 cents and then it went down I was like oh, why did it kill my support <laughs> my support but it's cool though you just learn you get it wrong but you know you just gotta build a minute but I mean look at this thing wow you see how that thing is just, yeah so I need to remember I like how it fell down and it hit the 200 the 200 day moving it kind of blew through it, but we're getting a nice resistance right now. As you can see, she's kind of recovering back. Good boy, good boy. But I mean, even if you look at 31, we kind of blew through that. We blew through this. This moving average right here, we just killed it. MACD didn't do nothing. I mean, the RSI was on point, though. Look, at, if you would have just been looking at RSI, I mean, it would have been, I mean, that would have been like, you know, it's a good spot. Like I said, 22, somewhere around there, that would have been perfect. But look, she's coming back. We're good. Just, you know. If you bought in at 74 cents, that's unfortunate. But just don't look at this as, this as a gambling play. I mean, this is the long term. Hold it for a couple. I mean, some people have held this since, like, December. And they're already, like, I mean, in December, it was trading for, <laughs> like, less than 25 cents, I think it was. Wasn't it? It was way less than that, I think. Where were we at in December? show you December on this one, but yeah, we were way under, we were barely at four, we weren't even pushing, we were, <laughs> we were barely pushing four cents, if that two cents or something like that, so it's like, relax, man, everybody's always freaking out and everything, it won't let me buy, it won't let me sell, that's what it was, I don't actually, I don't think anybody was selling though, I mean, if you look at it, I think a lot of people were just holding it, I mean, the cause is actually, the, the, the need, the will, I mean, Twitter, the people, I mean, we, the cause on Twitter is just, it's, it's phenomenal. It's huge. This is bigger than Elon Musk. This is bigger than all those big billionaires that are putting, pumping it up and all that. I mean, this is huge. This isn't about them. This is about, about us. This is about making this our crypto, our coin. This is what we're going to, this is what we want this to be our, our money right here. We're at it. We're determining the value and the worth of something. We're not gonna be like, oh, give me a dollar bill. I mean, I don't want no damn George Washington. I don't even like that dude. That fool cut down my grandpa's, my, his, his, his uh, the little cherry tree he cut, whatever it was. 
man, that will cut down, clap my whole generation right there. Because, you know, I heard the story. They were like, yeah, this little kid came by and George Washington cut down Grandpa's tree. And then, you know, it, it put a wrap for us. So that's why we went to go work on cars. We would have been farmers. Thanks a lot, George. <laughs> the cryptocurrency, this is just huge because we chose it. We, I mean, come on. This is, we didn't cheat that fool on that dollar bill. God damn it. But um, I hope uh, everybody's holding strong and, you know, ain't no one panicking. Because if anybody should be panicking, it's the big financial institutions. It's the big banks. It's Warren Buffett, uh, Charlie Munger. Yeah, them motherfuckers right there. They need to be panicking. Not us. We should be like, man, we cool, bro. Shit. Where I came from being broke before. You know what I mean? To run it. You know? <laughs> That's how I look at it, baby. Shit, I've been broke before, man. I'm ready to be broke again. Look at this thing, man. She, she's good. Look at the one-minute chart. looks beautiful. Oh, man, the five-minute one. Let's see, where we at? We back above the 200-day move? Oh, no, we're coming right back to the 200-day moving average. Let's see, one-minute one. Man, we're good. We're good. I mean, if I were you, I would buy more. But then again, remember, there's no financial advice. It's late selling. You can buy any asset. You should consult a professional. Hell, don't be lazy. You should trust the charts. Read some articles. Listen to rants. Some random guy or chick on YouTube, baby. And if you haven't subscribed, then smash that like button because I don't know what's going on. I've been, like, stuck here at 1,400, 1,500 subscribers for, like, like like a week now. I don't know what happened. But it's cool though. It's cool. I'm here for the long term. You know what I mean? Long term, baby. I'll, I'll get my subscribers up there. I'll get my little army together. That's what I'm here to do. I'm here to get me together a little group. That way we can be like, this is what's going on. This is what we're going to buy. This is what we're not going to buy. This is what we're going to sell. This is what we're going to hold. You know what I mean? So hang in there, everybody. We got this Deutsch family. I'm out, baby.